it's Cherry. Today I want to share another souvenir box swap with you guys. So the last time I did a box swap with was Shala, and that was about two years ago, I think. We exchanged souvenirs from Ehime and Tohoku, like Sendai area. Yeah, if you haven't watched that video yet, please check that out. I'm gonna put the link down below. And but this time I got this from Amazon. No, it's not from Amazon. I think it was in February when I went to Tokyo the last time and I made a video. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. During that video, I met Jennifer from Oshare Girl. And this time, she sent me a uh, full of goodies from Kanagawa Prefecture. Uh, Kanagawa is near Tokyo, so I think it's similar to what you see in Tokyo, it's like Kanto area, so it's like city city area, I think, I think, yes. Uh, yeah, and then also, of course, I sent some Ehime stuff to her, and it's a little, little bit different from what I sent to Shala, so check out her channel as well. Alright, yeah, I'm very excited to open this bag. But before I do that, just so you know, I'll have a small announcement about future souvenir box swap. Uh, later in this video, so stay tuned. All right, let's open. I'm just gonna lay everything on the table because I get one, two, and three. All right, I recognize one bag. This one. I think I saw this in Tokyo, I believe. What do you think? Let's open this one first. Because I think a lot of people know about this. Alrighty. It's really Japanese looking, see? It looks like a, you know, wagashi or something. Maybe it's wagashi. The bag says Hatosabure, but it doesn't say anything here. Let's open it up. Oh, it's a little different, I think. It says Kamakura. I didn't know Kamakura was in Kanagawa. I thought Kamakura was some, somewhere else. Yeah, I'm just really bad at geography, so don't ask me where things are. Anyway, so it is Kizahashi. Kizahashi, I have no idea. I've never heard of it. What is that? Okay, okay. It's not Hatosabure. Not Hatosabure. The, the bag was different. Oh, looks very traditional, see? It's like typical wagashi, Japanese snack. Yes. And I can't open it. It's really... Okay, there you go. Okay... How do I get this? So it looks like this. <gasps> wow, nice! Comes with extra, comes with extra pack of kinako. Kinako, how do I explain? It's a soybean powder. Yeah, soybean powder. It's mochi. Ta da! It looks like this. It's very nice looking. Like nice version. Like you can, you can get mochi everywhere. Like. If you go to supermarket, you can get cheap ones, but this is like, I don't know if I should eat with my fingers. Itadakimasu! Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, this is so good. I think this mochi itself is a little sweet. Naka, it's more like nanka. <laughs> Here comes Japanese. It's different from regular mochi. Regular mochi is made of rice, right? There's a, a special kind of rice for mochi. So it's like 
extra uh, gooey and extra sticky kind of kind of rice. But this, I don't know if you can see, butter everywhere. It's it's kind of clear. Ignore the color of kinako. And uh, this is more like warabi mochi. I have no idea how that's made, but it's clear mochi. I love this. So next, sorry about this mess. Sorry, just ignore this mess. Anyway, next. I have never seen this package. This is. Ta da! This is. Sugar butter sand tree. That doesn't make any sense. English wise. Japanese wise, maybe sure. Alright, so I'm guessing this is like a cookie. Uh, I think it's more like a pie. Something like this. So it's like a sandwich style. Yeah. Looks good. Looks like this. So I guess. What's inside? It's like. Oh, it's not whipped cream, of course. Doesn't say anything. Really doesn't say anything about the inside. Itadakimasu! Mm. It's white chocolate. Yeah, this is good. Mm. Alright, last one. It says... It says Sogo in the package. Hmm. Maybe this is not Japanese stuff. Uh, but it's it's Yokohama. It says Yokohama, so it's Yokohama stuff. First one is like this. I thought this is from like somewhere else. But it says Yokohama. Yokohama. So Yokohama is the major city. Is that capital? Maybe? Major city of Kanagawa. Hi, itadakimasu. Yokohama Madoremu. Like, you know, I think it's a common sense that Japanese things are very tiny, right? And that's that's not lie, it's true. But look at this. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Like about my palm. <laughs> anyway, itadakimasu. All right, I'm just gonna bite. Yeah, I'm just gonna bite. Itadakimasu. It's a really subtle flavor. Usually, this kind of cake is very sweet, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I mean, if you like sweet, sweet stuff, maybe this is not sweet enough, but for me, it's perfect. Last thing is... This is very interesting. The package is very interesting. It's Yokohama pudding. Pudding. Matte. Wait. It says Anin in the back. Anin is like... Anin dofu. Do you know anin dofu? Anin dofu is like, I think made out of almond, almond powder or something. It's white pudding, and I think it's a Chinese thing. I love anin dofu though. I'll be so happy if it's anin dofu. <laughs> Let's find that out. Uh, by the way, for those who 
can read kanji. Yokohama, this hama is very old Japanese character. We still use this for uh, names and whatnot, but this Yokohama is... Yoko, we still use this, but for the city, the name of the city, we don't use this hama anymore. We're gonna use this, uh, this uh, simple kanji instead of this difficult one, just so you know. Anyway, let's see. I like the package, it's really cute. You don't see this kind of pictures anywhere. Oh, interesting. The color is very interesting. Okay, like I said, Anindo is white. Like literally white, white pudding. And you know pudding, right? But this pudding is somewhere between. Uh, maybe it's hard to see on the camera. Yeah, it looks very white, but it's kind of like it's light beige. It's more like I don't know. It could be like ivory, maybe not. Something like that. Itadakimasu. I'm so happy. I never seen this color though. But the taste is definitely andindofu. This is my favorite. Oh yeah, it's so hard. This one or the first mochi thing? What are the mochi thing? Oh these are so good. One more bite. Mm. Anyway. So yeah, that was really good. Like I... How have I ever been to Kanagawa? Wait, where is where is Narita Airport? Narita Airport is Chiba, right? Haneda is Kanagawa? I have no idea. But yeah, I've never really walked around or like do anything in Kanagawa Prefecture. So I have never known what they must there. So it was really good and those are so yummy. Love it. Thank you for all of this, Jennifer. It was really, really good. And uh, oh yeah, about the announcement I was talking about earlier. I would like to do this souvenir box swap with you guys. And but, 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 but. To join this souvenir box swap, you need to first subscribe to my channel to have more than 5,000 subscribers on your channel and three, be focused on something Japanese or maybe Asian culture in your videos. If you can check off all of these three boxes and are willing to do this souvenir box swap, please leave the comment down below. I'll pick a few people and I'll send a direct message to your YouTube inbox for further details. All right, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!